good afternoon students this video is prepared for the answers of test held today that is uh, on the 26 february 2021 this test is of 20 marks and there are uh, 20 questions and time is 40 minutes so uh, this video is prepared for the explanation of each and every question so friends the question number 1 was choose correct option so the question is the correct order of basicity for the following eight cycles are so as we discussed earlier this is a pyrrole pyrazole and imidazole compound so among these three as you know that pyrrole lone pair that is a lone pair on the nitrogen in pyrrole is involved in aromatization or aromatic character so it is less available for donation as it loses aromaticity so it will never abstract the proton or the lone pair is not uh, available for the donation in the second case this pyrazole molecule forms dimer and hence this hydrogen bonding of this hydrogen and another nitrogen as well as the lone pair on this nitrogen is engaged in the hydrogen bonding and in third case there is a hydrogen bonding but one nitrogen is always free and that lone pair is always available for the donation so friends if we consider the conjugate acids of all three then these two have aromatic conjugate acid but if we consider the conjugate acid of pyrrole this is not aromatic i will say anti aromatic so the correct order of basicity is c is more basic then least basic then c is b and then uh, a is a least basic so correct order is c b a so option number 3 is correct option for this question so let's go ahead question number 2 was which of the following is strongest acid so you can see uh, let's consider the electronegativity of the atoms which holds the negative charge or lone pair so the in first two compounds the negative charge on the carbon and in the second two compound the negative charge is on the oxygen so this is the o minus over here okay co minus so as you know that oxygen is more electronegative it will hold the electron pair towards himself so option number c and d are ruled out okay so among the a and b there is a ch2 no2 and ch2 cn as you know that you know to have more or magnitude of minus i effect of no2 is more than the cn so it will also hold the lone pair strongly with himself but in this case among all the four option this is the this have the least minus i effect and hence it will easily donate the lone pair of electron for the proton abstraction so the correct option for this question is option number b and the question 3 was from the set examination that is choose correct option the correct order of basicity for the following species is so similar question is over here in this case three fluorine group have highest magnitude of minus i effect whereas the cl have the least than the fluorine and the br have the least minus i effect among the or magnitude of the minus i effect so this lone pair will be easily available for donation than fluorine so the correct order is the three is more or most basic in nature than second and the first one is least basic so option number c over here is correct option for this problem okay three is a most basic than two and the least one is one so correct option is option number c question number 4 was very simple guanidine is strongest base because of course uh, it is a simple structure the correct option for this is its conjugate acid is stabilized by resonance don't confuse between base and acid as this is a base is conjugate acid is stabilized by resonance stabilization okay there is no issue of hydrogen bonding or planar structure the correct <coughs> option for the question number 5 that is which one of the following is strongest base as we discussed earlier 
we can we can uh, say that the nitrogen lone pair of simple amide is delocalized uh, in the carbonyl group so it is less available for the donation because o minus is the most uh, convenient form of canonical form and in this case if this is a bridge amide and you know that on the bridge atom there is a list possibility of double bond hence there is a list delocalization of this nitrogen lone pair on the carbonyl or towards the carbonyl so as there is no delocalization or uh, very little delocalization of this nitrogen lone pair towards this oxygen then this lone pair is available for the donation so among a and b b is the most uh, or is the strongest base question number 6 was among the following compound which is strongest acid as you know that the chlorine have minus i effect and minus i effect increases the acidity as you can see here as the number of chlorine group increases the magnitude of minus i effect increases hence the option number d or the trichloroacetic acid is the most acidic among this all four options so correct option for this question is option number d let's go ahead question number 7 was among the following compound which is strongest acid so this is very simple question as you can see here the magnitude of the electron withdrawing uh, or minus i effect increases the acidity increases so as you can see that electronegativity of fluorine chlorine and iodine the fluorine is the most electronegative atom between these two so fluorine will have the most electronegative uh, negative or minus i power so the fluoroacetic acid is a strongest acid among this two acid so friends let's go ahead acetic acid is weaker acid than formic acid due to of course if you have uh, or i will say if you seen the structure of acetic acid and formic acid the only difference is in acetic acid we have methyl group and that methyl group exerts plus i effect and due to that plus i effect the acetic acid is less acidic so i will say plus i effect of methyl group decreases acidity of acetic acid so friends let's go for the question number 9 factors affecting strength of bases so first one is availability of electron pair stability of conjugate acid electronegativity of b so i will say all of the above factors affect the strength of bases so the correct option is option number 4 that is all of the above question number 10 was pyrrole is weak base than pyridine explain so friends pyrrole have the lone pair which is involved in the aromaticity so this lone pair is not available for the donation so correct option for this question number 10 is lone pair on the nitrogen of pyrrole is involved in the aromaticity and hence is a less available for the donation therefore pyrrole is weak based than pyridine now question number 11 was which of the following is strongest base as you know that the nitrogen lone pair of aniline is involved in the delocalization in the benzene ring but there is no such delocalization of ben, uh, lone pair for the cyclohexyl amine so cyclohexyl amine is always a strong base than aniline so correct option for this is option number b so uh, friends which one of the following is strongest acid question number 12 this is very tricky question because i haven't uh, shown the structure in the question so uh, you must know the structure of the, all this four acid first one is benzoic acid second is salicylic acid salicylic acid is nothing but ortho hydroxy benzoic acid then para hydroxy benzoic acid and para methyl benzoic acid so as you know that the conjugate base of salicylic acid is stabilized by hydrogen bonding so among all these four acids salicylic acid is a strongest acid due to hydrogen bonding and stability of conjugate base now this is question from question number 13 is from the set examination and a very tricky question the correct order of acidity for the following molecule is so friends most of the time you guys focus on this substituent 
but you can carefully see the top one also so first two are acids carboxylic acid third one is phenol and fourth one is just a methyl group or neutral compound so friends acids are always stronger than a phenol or neutral compound so if we compare the benzoic acid and para methyl benzoic acid among these two this benzoic acid is strongest acid because of this methyl group is destabilizing or giving plus i effect to the uh, this uh, coo minus or conjugate base so this is destabilizing the conjugate base so among these two benzoic acid is strongest acid of course among these two these two are strongest because they are acid coo h are there this is simple oh is there so among uh, this three the second is most acidic now let's uh, come to third and fourth phenols and this is neutral simple methyl group so third is then most acidic than the fourth one and the least acidic is fourth so correct order of basicity is first is most acidic and the fourth one is least acidic so you can choose the correct option so don't confuse between these signs okay we need to search for the uh, this is the first is more acidic then second then third and the list is fourth so correct option for the question number 13 is option number a okay correct option is option number a now let's go for the next question which one of the following is strongest base this question is based on the ortho effect or the steric hindrance between this ortho substituted methyl groups and the in and dimethyl groups so due to this steric hindrance at ortho position this cn bond rotates and then lone pair on the nitrogen and the pi orbital of benzene ring are no longer in same plane so there is a no delocalization of this nitrogen lone pair in the ring so among all these four in and dimethyl anilines the c option or the ortho substituted aniline is most basic due to steric hindrance and rotation of c n bond so i will correct i will choose the option option number c so friends let's go for the question number 15 the question number 15 is based on the hyper conjugation and recently asked in the set examination so the correct option or current order of stability of the following alkenes are so as you can see that option number three or compound three have 12 hyperconjugating structure because there are 12 alpha hydrogens near this carbon carbon double bond so the most stable among all these are this is a option number three okay if you know this you can uh, go for the answer but i will uh, explain all all other options now let's see uh, for the option number two and option number four there are there are uh, six hyperconjugating structure this is also six but friends you can see here this is a <coughs> this is a uh, substituted uh, between this carbon and this carbon but this is a fissional substituted or fissional uh, olefins so due to this uh, steric hindrance this is most stable as you can see here there is a two option of trans and cis isomer so trans uh, trans olefin is stable than the this kind of olefin okay so among this second and fourth fourth one will be stable than the second and lastly among one and two one have only three hyperconjugation structure and second have the six so correct order of uh, stability is three is more stable than four uh, uh, then list table is four then second and one so most stable is option number three so this is a option number three over here then fourth then second and then first okay this is a d option is correct option so sometime could student confuse between option number b so please uh, look the option carefully we need to search for the this sign which is a greater than sign that means 3 is most stable 
in this case three is a list table so correct option is option number d which showing the correct order of stability of this olefins now option number uh, sorry question number 16 is which substituted phenol is a list acidic so friends if you if you search for the base uh, acidity of uh, phenols then this substituents which are attached at meta and para position plays important role so we need to search for the list acidic compound that is the which have the plus em effect which will decrease the acidity so plus em effect so och3 exerts plus em effect and para methoxy phenol so sorry option number 2 para methoxy phenol will be the least acidic phenol among this four because no2 no2 methoxy and methoxy so there is effective delocalization of this lone pair and it will destabilize the it will destabilize the this conjugate base so let's go for the next question question number 70 the same question but just uh, we need to search for the most acidic so let's go for the most acidic so you know to exerts minus m effect and para natrophenol is always the most acidic among this all the phenols okay now option number 18 is related to base so which compound is list basic so which one will be the list basic in which there is a effective delocalization of the lone pair so aniline aniline have the delocalization of this lone pair in the benzene ring whereas this two the first two compound have no issue of delocalization so among all these compounds this methyl group will push the lone pair uh, for the donation so among all these four options aniline is the weak or least basic compound okay now the next question was which one of the most basic among uh, same options so most basic of course this anilines uh, are the least basic and cyclohexyl amines are more basic so this cf3 also holds the electron pair towards himself so easily available lone pair will be in the first option that is a simple cyclohexyl amine friends this is a cf3 and not a ch3 so cf3 will Uh, act as electron withdrawing group and exerts minus i effect and minus i effect decreases acidity so don't confuse between this cf3 or don't take it as a ch3 this is cf3 which withdraws electron density from the uh, uh, next atom okay it have the minus i effect so correct option for this question number 19 is option number 1 And then last question of this test was which compound is most acidic so friends this is a bit confusing question and most of the student have answered it wrongly among these if we consider s2 and s2s okay ch3 and nh3 are uh, not the acidic compound but s2 and s2s there is a confusion between s2 and s2s so if we consider the structure of s2 and s2s the size of the sulfur is bigger and the hydrogen is bonded is very far or the s and h bond is weaker than o and h bond so h s bond will be easily uh, deprotect uh, deprotonated and s s to s is more acidic than s to o this is the answer for question number 20 this is all about this test 